God, I'm reading these things. I'm going, oh, God, what evil person thought that up? Look at those faces. That was really that sweet. That was cheeky. <laughs>
I could see seamstresses using it. Uh, that's what I would go for. Seamstress tool. This is like something you find in Hannibal Lecter's kitchen drawer, right? Come here, my little pretty. I've got my Skinner. I'm gonna get you. I'm actually gonna agree with Rob because that would be perfect to skin a snake, even if it, the snake is still alive to get that extra coat off. And that pointy part at the end can get around the eyes. I'm gonna agree with Rob, but in the opposite way and go with the plant grafting because it seems I feel like it's a little bit, like I could imagine if you're holding a plant and you're fighting it so it stays still, it would be useful to have the blade. This could be the basis of a new show for Mythbusters. We can go to plant grafters. Are we ready to share? Would you like to find out what it is? Who's, did we find the truth? Which one would come in last place in your eyes? It's definitely not a, Rob, what do you think? I definitely think it's not a sharpening tool because when I sharpen knives, I don't use another knife to sharpen it. I use some sort of stone or something like that. So I would say that would be last place for me. If it's sharpening something round, you would, if you sharpened it with something straight, you would get uneven edges. Yeah, there's yeah. no coarseness to it at all. So it's a little bit hard to be filing and sharpening without that. We all have too much knife experience. <laughs> I'm still rattling because I'm the chemist, you know, and I, I know what it is. So for me to kind of keep a straight face is very difficult. I keep on my beer here. So Rob, you're like, I'm gonna share your lie now. Uh, Rob, he came up with the plant grafting. Oh. <laughs> well, plant, you know, it is a thing. You can no, graft no, plants. Look at old Tamara. Which one do you think Tamara wrote? You know, she didn't do the plant grafting tool. She wrote the snake splitter. <laughs> Can you that was snake? good. <laughs> Which is why I thought Rob was telling the truth about both. So I was like, I know it's not that one. So he's a biologist. So I'm going to trust the other one. So we're down to either it's a sheep trimmer or it is a cork bore sharpener. Can we guess? And Can we give you a one or yeah, two? Yeah, yeah one, one or two. Which do you think? Well, you it's said either, you're a either. chemist and know what it is, so now I think it might be a sharpening tool. <laughs> oh, rats! If I did it, Tracy, did you write? Did you write the lie? I uh, did write the lie. That's why if, if Rob's gonna go, you should go first because I know what it is. Okay, okay, okay. Now you know what it is. Yeah. So Rob, what do you think? If we, so now, now if I guess, everybody's like, "Oh, we totally get it." And I'm still like, "Wait a second. I, I didn't think it was a cork borer. Um, so is it a sheep trimmer? Because you were talking about bacteria." That's a it was totally a sheep trimmer. Not. Nice. <laughs> you guessed, you, you said sheep trimmer? Well, that's, I thought that was pretty dumb. But, so the uh, one that we all said that no way it was, that's what it was. The minute you okay. said as a chemist, I was like, man, we're screwed. I gave it I gave it away, didn't I? I slipped, I said chemist. Now I want you to look carefully, I'll show it to the camera. These things are called cork borers. You take one of these out and it's hollow. And it's got a really sharp edge. It's kind of like a what an apple core. And when those start to get dull, you take your sh sharpener and you just stick it in there and push that down on it and just you take the burrs off like that. How now many times it makes life? sense. Because you know, if you're gonna be a wizard, you have to keep keep your cork borers sharpened at all times. I don't know. Hey, we did pretty good on that first one, didn't we? Well, we all lost credibility, so I guess so. But some of us are really good liars. Success. <laughs> they are good liars. <laughs> I like that I think... Rob sneaky, sneaky incepted us by giving both his wrong answer and what he thought was the right one. Yeah, that, that was right. really that sneaky. That was sneaky. <laughs> and it's, I, I, I see you, Rob. I see you. <laughs> Wait, where are you? You're over here. <laughs> A cork borer sharpener. And you've seen it right here. Ooh, sweet. Tamara's the winner. Our producer just told me that Tamara, you fooled two people. Yeah. Well, you know, we fooled all three of you today, didn't we? But don't feel bad. The first time I saw this, I had no idea what it was. I had no idea. Thank you very much for, I know you guys are all just swamping. This is kind of fun. Are you ready to do it again? Well, I'm ready to win one. again. Oh, is this what it is? Oh, she's getting uppity. Getting uppity now. <laughs> well, we're, we're just gonna have to get some objects that might bring her down. No, I don't know. I don't even know why we have to do the game show. You can tell who's lying. Look at that face. You big liar, you. We love them, though. Good liars. 
Well, hi, I'm Jake Wizard for, and yes, you can find us Midnight Science Club. We're all over the place. If you want to get involved in uh, messing around with cork bore sharpeners, you can find us on Patreon. I'm, I'm going to get all jazzed up and find something else to tell lies and, and tell stories about. Because we're all scientists and we are all seekers of the truth. Thanks a lot.